Hi there and welcome to the video. Right, for this video we're going to be talking TVs. Now I picked these three TVs up over the past few months. Um, I'm trying to think what I paid. I paid £5 each on the Toshiba, which is this one, and the Bush, and the Sony was 10 so I thought what we're doing in this video is we will test them. We will set them up and see if they work. Hopefully we'll get three for three out of these, but I have no idea. So we're going to do that and also I'm going to do a little bit of research and then let you know what I'm likely to sell these for, just to give you an idea. So before we start, I'll give you a closer look at the three TVs. Um, yeah, they need a bit of a clean, they're a bit grubby. Right, so here they are. So this is the Bush. Now this has a built-in DVD player, um, but it's nothing amazing. As you can see, it needs a very good clean. It's covered in gunk and dust and all sorts. This was bought at a like a, a yard sale sort of thing, jumble trail in a local village. Um, so yeah, that's that one. This Toshiba is also um, a DVD player as well, built-in DVD. Uh, and this one has the remote, um, which is quite a bonus with these. That's gonna make it easier to sell. And you can add that little bit extra if you've got the remote. So that's handy. Don't have the remote for the bush. And then what I think is the cream of the crop is this Sony. Now you may remember this from uh, a haul we had recently. I got this at a jumble sale and it had stuck on the top of it this which is a printout of an eBay auction um, for the very same TV which had sold for £75. So I saw that and then asked them how much they were selling it for and they said 10 so I bought it. I've since spoken to George uh, George Ross about this and he reckons I'll be able to aim quite a bit higher than that, which is what I'm going to do. Uh, it's a lovely thing. Obviously, we're yet to test it, but yeah, I'm hoping that works. Uh, and then I think I'll shoot for 125. I might even shoot 150 and take offers. So yeah we'll see so right let's get these tested we will start at what I think is the lower end value wise we'll give it a test and then we'll take a look at what I'm likely to sell this for right so the bush is now plugged in so if we fire that up we'll see what happens I'm going to use the DVD function to test this um, oh there we go okay so we've got a screen up that's a good start okay cool you may be seeing strobing um, that's fine the TV isn't actually doing that it's just because it's being filmed so I can hear the the, the DVD player whirring around let's just click eject in case there's a DVD in it and there we go, nothing in there. So this is all looking good. Pop a DVD in. With a bit of luck that will load up. Or not, as the case may be. It says loading taking its sweet time there we go come on you can do it there we go okay like like I said before you you will see all of this strobing but you can't see that on the actual TV that's a pretty good picture actually pleased with that so that's a thumbs up, we are one for one. So the bush works, which is great. I've tried to find um, completed listings of that model, 
and couldn't find any at all. Similar TVs have gone for around the £50 mark. So that's probably where I'm going to aim for the bush. It's not a particularly desirable make, so you won't get the higher numbers on that. But that's fine if I can get 50 for it. Like I say, this owes me five. So I'd be happy with that. So good start. One for one. Next up, we'll do the Toshiba and see how we get on with that. Okay, so Toshiba is ready to test. So we have it plugged in. If we fire it up again, see what, oh, hang on. Turn it on would help. Okay. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. I can't, I was expecting that light to come on. Hmm. It did make a little noise. Ah, we have fuzz. Okay, so if we put it into DVD now, I've got the remote for this somewhere. Where did I put that? It's here. Uh, batteries. It's got some in. I wonder if they work. Ah, uh, right. So DVD function. Uh, DVD. That work. Let's try just ejecting then. It's making a noise. Here it comes. I'm not sure how to get it into um, DVD. Will it automatically go? Not sure. Uh -huh. Right, DVD, it's reading, come on, you can do it, okay, that's working. Yep, fantastic. Yeah, and that's a really nice picture again. Again, ignore the strobing that you can see on the video. That looks perfect. So it should come up to a menu screen in a minute. Right, happy days. So there we go. So while we're here, um, see if we can go up and down. Yeah, that. That's moving that little cursor, so we know the remote is fine as well. Good stuff. Right, so I think we can class that as a win. Stop that. Okay, so really happy with that. So that's two for two, two tested, two working. Now the Toshiba, um, I've looked at completed and I will be shooting for around the 70 to 80 pounds mark on this one. Um, I'm pretty sure this cost me a fiver as well. So that's a pretty good return from a five pounds investment. So next, the one I'm excited about, the Sony Triniton. Fingers crossed that that one's working because this one is where the money is. Now this doesn't have built-in DVD, so I need something that's gonna give it a signal um, I need to test this Wii console anyway, so I've just got that set up um, and we're going to plug that in. Um, speaking of which, where's the cable? Um, I don't know if this has, has it got a front? Ah, what have we got there? That should do it. Should be able to get a signal out of that. Um, so the Sony is plugged in here, so we will fire that up and hope something happens. Right. Oh, that was a good noise. It's going to do something. I don't know if there's batteries in here. Oh, it's got batteries in. Oh. 
Okay, we have a little number 34 on the screen. Let's see. Uh, right, input. Oh, can I do it down here? Uh, no. Right. Uh, here we go. AV2. Oh, actually, I need to power this on. Hey, there we go. Fantastic. Uh, right. Oh, I may have to sync this as well. Is that synced? Oh, it is synced. Fantastic. Right. Do we have a bonus disc in the Wii? I've not done that check yet. No, nothing's coming out. Right. I'll pop a game in. So, kill two birds with one stone. Let's see if this fires up. Again, if you're seeing strobing on here, that's not what I'm seeing. Oh, there you go. So, that is working, but my remote isn't. Oh, I think I need to sync the remote. Ah, uh, right. If you've never tested a Wii, um, quite often you will have to sync the remote to the console. So there's a little red button in here, the back of the controller, and one in this little, inside this little door here. So if you press those at the same time, can I do it with one hand? Oh, that didn't work. I need two hands, hold on. Okay, well it was synced, it was just that the uh, the batteries had stopped working, so sorted that, it's now synced, you can see the blue button, or the blue light rather, is on player one there, so we should get a little, there it is, cursor on screen, which is now gone again, there it is, okay, and that looks perfect, that is such a good picture. Ah, oh, come on. Blah, 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 blah. You can see why these are, are really sought after. Usually, um, or a lot of the time anyway, these uh, Sony Trinitons are bought by gamers who want to play their vintage consoles. Um, well, this sort of thing, but more um, your earlier sort of um, PS1, etc. And, and earlier than that because it's such a lovely really nice flat screen really good quality that is so nice oh there's buttons up here Let's check they work volume works oh there's an input input button there so I should be able to scroll through the inputs yep Program control, that is awesome. Really, really happy with that. Now value wise, as I said briefly before, I'm going to shoot for around, well I think I'll list it at 150 with offers on and see what comes in and then if I have to reduce it from there, I will. As I said, this owes me 10 pounds from a jumble sale. So there should be some good return on investment in that one. I'm just really happy it works. Right, so that concludes this video pretty much. I'm so happy that all three are working. Really, really pleased with that, especially that Sony. I had a Sony back in the, when would this have been? Late 80s, early 90s, a similar model to this, but it was like a creamy sort of yellow color. Um, it was a cheaper model than that, to be honest. Um, but that TV lasted me for years. It used to go down to university with me in the car and back whenever I went to uni and then we broke and I came back home again. Um, so that was a very well-traveled TV. It lasted me most of that decade. Um, anyway, I'm really happy. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you are new to the channel um, and you enjoy this sort of stuff or you want to find out more about how we 
choose to earn our living selling online then please subscribe we, we try to put out videos every week about our whole process from sourcing this stuff when we're out and about to this sort of video testing and the process of how we get our stuff listed all the way through to sales roundups when hopefully we actually sell some of this stuff and make a profit thank you so much for watching really appreciate it drop me a message below let me know if you buy and sell tvs and how you get on with them thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one take care